This is what you need to do if you're personally guaranteeing business debt. This is Sam Bryant from Bryant Taylor Law, where we help protect the legacies that business owners work so hard to build. If you're gonna personally guarantee business debt, that's not a bad idea, but you wanna be prepared. You really wanna be prepared for the event that you are no longer in the business because you are incapacitated or if you unexpectedly pass away. Because usually if you're guaranteeing business debt, and I'm not talking about credit cards, but it could be a personal loan, some sort of financing or lending that the lender is requiring the uh, business owner to guarantee. So the lenders can actually declare the loan in default if you as a business owner pass away or become uh, permanently disabled and you, and you can't service in the business, even if the business is going to continue in your absence. So when you're personally guaranteeing business debt, and, uh, you, don't want to take advantage, you don't want to take for granted the fact that you're gonna be around forever. So it's best to have a contingency plan for the business so to make sure that the business can count on the, um, the longevity of, of the loan because you know, you could, the business could be in a situation where it can't afford to either pay the loan off or if the lender were to declare the loan in default, it would compromise the business. And so there's a couple of strategies that you can use if you are personally guaranteeing your business debt uh, with a contingency plan. One option is to actually negotiate on the front end of financing some sort of uh, secondary guarantor that will take the place of you if something like this were to happen so that the lender has confidence in knowing that uh, there's always going to be a personal guarantor on that financing so that the default won't be an option. Another scenario can, uh, can actually be negotiating a timeline in which the business doesn't know, doesn't need any guarantor anymore. So essentially you are negotiating a way to get yourself off as a personal guarantor so that if anything were to happen to you individually, the business can still count on that money from that lending and doesn't have to worry about being in default in that scenario. So it's, it's a lot easier said than done in these situations, but it's not impossible to do. So even if you as a business owner are personally guaranteeing something, uh, you can always go back to the table. You can always ask about these scenarios with your lender because it's, it's prudent to really get on top of these things and not be in a position where you're playing catch up or putting a business in a compromising position. So again, if you're going to personally guarantee a business loan, you need to have a plan for what is going to happen if you as the owner can no longer function in the business or you unexpectedly pass away. Uh, doing this will ensure the longevity of your business and ensure that if you do want to pass down your business or want to sell it, that you're not scaring people or scaring potential buyers away or compromising the future owners of your business. Hope you find that helpful. We have a lot of videos that can help you as a business owner uh, grow your business or uh, run your business things to keep in mind. Uh, if you are interested in speaking to us as business attorneys, we have our contact information in the description below.